Becky and today I'm going to be reviewing Incendiary by Zoraida Cordova. I received my copy on NetGalley for an honest review and I'm really thankful for the publisher for sending it to me. Incendiary is about Renata who was brought up as a kidnapped child in the King's Justice and they used her Rabari powers in order to steal memories from people they were against such as prisoners. Because her powers are the most rare in this world, they're also the most valuable to both sides of the rebellion and the king's justice. Unfortunately, her powers often lead to the death of thousands and the king's justice uses it against her people, the Moira. When she's a bit older, she escapes with the help of the Whispers who are rebel spires and they're made up of Moira who all have magic powers. But when Des, one of the only people in the Whispers who trusts her and the commander of the Whispers as well, is taken hostage, she must go in to try and save him and then finish the mission he was on. She must go undercover but also keep both sides trusting her when she can't even trust herself. The first thing I've said to anyone I've spoken to about Incendiary so far is how much I enjoyed the magic system. There's four types of magic. There's Rabari, which is what Renata is, and that's stealing memories. There's Persuari, who persuade people to do things. There's Ventari, which is kind of like reading minds. And there's Illusionary, which is creating illusions. All of them have different type of rareness and they all have an affinity to different metals in this world where these metals amplify their powers to be a lot stronger and therefore most of the metals are mined by the king and hidden away. Due to Renata being a Robari, she's already mistrusted in the Whispers because her powers can often leave people hollow or you can literally steal memories and they won't remember what's been stolen. This on top of the fact that she lived with the King's Justice for so many years means that she's highly mistrusted and she finds it hard fitting in. A lot of the book touches on her reaction to the distrust everyone has around her and the self-hate she has towards her powers. I really enjoyed the development throughout the book as she learned to use her powers a little bit more and in order to be helpful to the cause. I also liked that she started to see her unit as more of a found family although things don't always go smoothly and I'm excited to see what the second book brings as the ending leaves it pretty open as to what's gonna happen. The book has a lot of hints of kind of political tension and intrigue however because our main character and point of view is Renata we don't see it as much because she's not learnt in political things and she's also not included because she's not high enough in the ranks of either the King's Justice or the Whispers to be included in important conversations. We only really see some political things happen when she steps out of line and makes things go wrong. And when Alessandro and Noria come into the book later on, I really enjoyed the scheming elements that they brought in a small scale royal court rather than the big power players that were at the top. There's Saido, Margot and Estefan all have different levels of whether they like Renata or not and they're all part of her unit. I really enjoyed all these characters because they had different reasons for being in the book, they have different magic powers and they all helped Renata and her motivations change depending on the reaction towards them. I also want to point out that I think Renata is sometimes a little bit of an unreliable narrator because she's so kind of in her head about how these people don't like her despite the fact that literally every time she runs off to do something, they run off straight after her to make her make sure she's okay. And if this isn't them caring about her in some way, then I don't know what she really wants. But I really enjoyed all the characters because they really do show development alongside Renata. Incendiary doesn't really have a main antagonist in this book. We have Mendez, Alessandro and Cassian, all of which do bad things or seemingly do bad things behind the scenes and are accused of such by our main protagonist. However, a lot of them don't seem to be doing a lot of things in the open and so because of this we're not sure whether they are good guys or not. For example, Mendez, whilst he kidnapped Renata as a child, he also shows a lot of care towards her and is a fatherly figure in her life and this is conflicting her ideals of him when she goes back undercover. But all of these men also conflict with one another. They're not having the same goal and therefore they're all maybe bad guys in different stories. However, I'm not sure which one is the bad guy in our story. And then Cassian especially is someone that you are not sure if they're the bad guy or not 
because Renata already has a preconceived conception of what he's going to be like because of the way the whispers have taught her about them. This was especially frustrating when Renata could have definitely gotten information earlier on in the book if she had just played the part with Cassian instead of pushing him away at every part at every point. But because we were always thinking, is this person really a bad guy? It really gave us a sense of intrigue that made you want to continue reading. On top of that, there's some really great characters as well in the castle. I loved Leo when Renato was undercover because he's such a lovely and a genuinely nice person. And there's a few other friendly faces, but I don't want to spoil anything in the book. However, I really enjoyed how there were a select few people that were kind of placed in this book which were clearly there to help increase Renata's trust in people as well as herself and build her development even more. Overall, as a top line view, the plot is not unique at all to this book. It's very simply, there's the rebel group, there's the rulers in charge, both this side has magic, they want to rule out magic but they're using magic to get rid of magic. And so we have our main protagonist who has to go in and try and find a weapon that they're going to destroy so that they can't wipe out magic. And there's lots of misdirects and there's lots of different twists and turns but I really enjoyed how this book changed them up just a little bit. By the end of the book there are quite a few surprises in there that really makes it interesting and really pulls you along with the storyline. And it really helps that the characters help intrigue you even more because you want to know more about all of them rather than just our main character. Overall I would definitely recommend you to read this especially if you like unique magic systems as it really is a lovely book to read and if you've already read it please let me know your thoughts below as I would love to speak to other people who've loved this book as much as me and thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon.